In this part 12 of Beginning Rhino on Mac using touchpad and mouse, we are going to be talking about analyzing your model before you export your file and also patching a potential hole or a missing surface. Um, and to begin with, this is the form that we created from the Boolean difference process. And if you highlight your form and highlight this donut shape, it's going to be tell you Due to be telling you that your object is a closed poly surface. But if I were to highlight my form and then go to this toolbar section, this um, lightning or fire looking icon, which is called explode, you can see now I have exploded my poly surface into two surfaces. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this smaller surface. And now when I highlight my um, shape, it should say that it's an open surface, so it's not um, a closed form. And a few ways to fix this um, hole in order to make this shape back into um, a closed poly surface will be the patch command. So I'm going to go ahead and type patch, hit return, and now I'm asked um, to select where I want to fit surface through. So I'm going to select my edge, hit return when you are done. If you ask um, this patch option to adjust tangency, let's hit OK and see what happens. Because it's adjusting the tangency um, when it's patching the form up, um, now my piece or this this model is patched back into its spherical shape and I'm gonna hit command Z to undo that and do patch again but this time I'm going to not ad um, adjust tangency and we can either hit return or single click OK and now you can see how I was able to patch this form um, in a different way. And now if I were to um, just draw a window and select both surfaces, I'm going to click on this join icon or you can simply type in join. And now you can see I have um, joined my two surfaces into one closed poly surface. And another really great tool for analyzing your model before you were to export your file is you are going to um, go to the um, Analyze option on the menu and in your drop-down menu, go to Edge Tool and then go to Show Edges. Now you are asked to select the surface, um, poly surface or meshes for edge display. So I'm going to single click my object and press return. And now you are going to see your analyzed results on your lower left corner. It says found four edges total. There is no naked edges and no non-manifold edges. And this is what we always um, want for an object that we are hoping to 3D print. We do not want to see naked edges and we do not want to see non-manifold edges. And let me close this off. Um, and let's say I'm going to explode this again and delete that and run the analyze to show you what it will say differently if it were to be an open surface. And now you can see um, the system analyze and found out that I have two naked edges because um, my surface was open and it wasn't uh, properly closed on these edges. Okay, um, and some other shortcut um, that is um, helpful for the process is if I were to hit return right now, it will go back to the last 
command um, that I did. Let me close that off first. So if I were to hit return, you can see um, I automatically went back to the same command that I just used. And that will be helpful, um, especially like when you are doing um, a lot of um, edge blending in a row or um, fillet in a row. And that quick um, enter or return key shortcut will be helpful for these kind of um, scenarios. And that will wrap up the um, analyzing options and patching options for Rhino. And in the next um, part, we're going to talk about how we can export a file and how we can properly save um, a Rhino file.